Did you know that cricket, a sport many consider quintessentially British, actually has a global fan base of over two and a half billion people? That's right, billion with a B. And no, we're not just talking about the United Kingdom and its immediate neighbors. The reach of cricket has extended far beyond what many of us would have ever expected. Picture this, the sun is setting on a dusty pitch in India, where the enthusiasm for cricket is nothing short of electric. It's not just a sport there, it's a way of life. A binding thread that connects millions, from the bustling streets of Mumbai, to the serene landscapes of Kerala. But the cricket fever doesn't stop there. Let's hop on an imaginary flight and touch down in Pakistan, where cricket is held in the highest esteem. It's a sport that's woven into the fabric of the nation, uniting people from all walks of life, from the vibrant bazaars of Lahore, to the picturesque valleys of Gilgit Baltistan. Now, let's change the scenery and head down under to Australia, where cricket is as much a part of the summer as beach barbecues and holiday cheer. The Boxing Day test is a tradition that's as Australian as kangaroos and Vegemite with families gathering around their televisions or radios, hanging on every run and wicket. And let's not forget the West Indies, a place where cricket is more than just a game, it's a celebration. The Caribbean flair for cricket is unmistakable, from the calypso rhythms that fill the stands to the thrilling high-energy matches that have become a hallmark of West Indian cricket. So, wherever you might be in the world, remember, cricket isn't just a sport, it's a passion, a uniting force, a part of the cultural identity of billions around the globe. And it's not just restricted to the countries we've mentioned. From South Africa to New Zealand, from Bangladesh to Zimbabwe, cricket has found a home in the hearts of people everywhere. So, it's clear that cricket isn't just a British pastime, it's a global phenomenon. Cricket's influence extends far beyond the pitch, in fact, it has a unique power to unite people across cultural, political and social divides. Let's delve deeper into this phenomenon. Consider the vibrant country of India, a nation known for its cultural and religious diversity. Cricket serves as a binding force here, uniting people from various religions, be it Hinduism, Islam, Sikhism, or Christianity. When a cricket match is on, it's not uncommon to see a group of diverse individuals, each with their own unique backgrounds, cheering together for the Indian cricket team. The excitement, the tension, the collective cheer when a wicket is taken, it's a shared experience that transcends all differences, bringing them together as one. Moving westwards, let's take a look at Pakistan, a country that has had its share of challenges, cricket serves as a beacon of national pride here. Despite the political turmoil and social unrest, when the Pakistani cricket team steps onto the field, the entire nation stands united. The spirit of cricket ignites a collective sense of hope and pride, providing a much-needed respite from the day-to-day -day struggles. Now, let's journey across the Atlantic to the West Indies, an eclectic mix of islands, each with its distinct culture and identity, yet cricket is a common thread that weaves them all together. The West Indies cricket team is a testament to this unity. It is not just a team, it's a symbol of regional solidarity, a representation of the collective Caribbean spirit. The euphoria that sweeps across the islands when the team clinches a victory is palpable, further solidifying their shared identity. Cricket, in essence, is more than just a sport. It's a unifying force that bridges cultural, political, and social divides. It evokes a sense of camaraderie, fosters national pride, and promotes unity in diversity. In a world that's often divided, it's amazing how a simple game of cricket can bring people together. Cricket isn't just a sport, it's a part of people's cultural identity. It influences music, fashion, and even language in many parts of the world. Let's take a journey around the globe to see how cricket has weaved itself into the fabric of different cultures. We'll start in the vibrant country of India where cricket is nothing short of a religion. Here the sport has played muse to many artists, inspiring countless songs that echo through the streets and stadiums alike. From the catchy rhythms of Chakti India, to the emotional undertones of Malka Malka, cricket-themed songs have become anthems, uniting millions in their love for the game. Moving down under, to Australia, where the sport has influenced fashion trends. Cricket isn't just about the players on the pitch, it's about the spectators in the stands too. Australian cricket fans, known as the Barmy Army, have made the baggy green cap synonymous with national pride. This cricket-inspired fashion trend has transcended the boundaries of the stadium, making its way into everyday streetwear. Now let's hop over to the United Kingdom, the birthplace of cricket. Here, cricket terms have seamlessly blended into everyday language. Phrases like sticky wicket, bowled over, and hit for six are used in common parlance, 
often without the speaker realizing their origin in the cricketing world. The sports lexicon has become so deeply ingrained in British culture that it's almost impossible to separate the two. From music to fashion to language, cricket's cultural impact is vast and varied. It's not merely a pastime but a heartbeat that pulses through the lives of those who follow it. It's a common thread that ties diverse cultures together, creating a global community bound by the love for this sport. So you see, cricket isn't just a game, it's a way of life for millions of people around the world. Cricket's cultural impact is undeniable but what does the future hold for this beloved sport? As we leap forward into the future, cricket as we know it is set to undergo some exciting transformations. One of the most promising developments in the world of cricket is the rise of women's cricket. Over the past few years the women's game has made significant strides, showing us that cricket is no longer a sport dominated by men. Women cricketers have been smashing boundaries both literally and figuratively, and their growing fan base is a testament to the increasing popularity of the women's game. But that's not all. The way we play and view cricket is changing too. The traditional five-day test matches, though still revered by many, are being overtaken by the shorter, faster and arguably more thrilling formats of the game. The 20-over format known as T20 is skyrocketing in popularity. With its fast-paced action, dramatic finishes and shorter duration, T20 is attracting new audiences and changing the landscape of cricket. And then there's the potential for cricket to become an Olympic sport. With cricket's global popularity on the rise, there's been a renewed push for cricket to be included in the Olympic Games. If successful, this would not only elevate cricket's status on the world stage, but also allow the sport to reach new audiences and inspire a new generation of cricket lovers. The future of cricket is bright and full of potential. New formats, new players, and new platforms are set to revolutionize the game, taking it to new heights. But amidst all these changes, one thing remains constant. Cricket at its core is a sport that brings people together, transcends boundaries and has an undeniable cultural impact. No matter what the future holds, one thing's for sure. Cricket's cultural impact will continue to be felt around the world for years to come.